Aston Villa 1, Fulham 2, Richardson and Roddy Ager for the man from Craven Cottage. Grant Holt got his first for the Clariton Blue. It wasn't enough. Tony, a hugely disappointing, frustrating and painful afternoon. Well, I think all you've got to do, Jack, is just look at the Fulham supporters behind you. Know, obviously, you can't, but you can hear them. Uh, it meant so much to Fulham. A painful, Jack. Well, Paul, not a lot happened in the first half. The second was a real roller coaster and a, a bitter pill to swallow at the end there. No, it was. It was too open, Jack. And, uh, but we cannot defend when the ball travels that distance and not touch tight in the penalty box. That's what happens. And um, disappointing to lose, lose a game. A point with the injuries we've got, I think you've took it. Well, Grant, great to see you on the score sheet, but that was really tough to take at the end. Yeah, tough to swallow. Um, 85th minute, had our chances. Um, same story, really. Edda goes over the bar. I think it's a penalty on Andy, but he hasn't given it. And they go up the other end, and a goal that we had our chances, we probably have three or four occasions where we could have got the danger away. And uh, it's it's an effort to be kept for our attack, which so we're disappointed. We're hurting in there. We're, we're disappointed in the manner that we've thinged. I've said we should, we could have learned our lesson with Holtby when he's he's rounded us, but we rode the storm. Matty Lang done well to get back, and we're just disappointed. And um, we just need to get out, get away now, get ourselves sorted, and get ready for next week. Matt, give us the mood of the dressing room after that one. <laughs> Obviously, everyone's everyone's down after that. You know, it was a. It was a game that we um, we were definitely thinking, you know, we need three points from, you know, at home to a, a team that's lower than us and try and get us closer to the 40 points. But you know, it's not turned out that way. So the lads are the lads are devastated in there.